Welcome back everybody. Happy Monday to you all. I was looking through some of our sky cams and came across this on the west side of Glacier National Park. A couple little snowmen, a couple three snowmen, a little family right there, but uh, pretty cool picture coming in from the west side of Glacier Park and pretty cool sky here this afternoon with the Chinook Arch, the uh, giant mountain wave cloud lifting off toward the east in the capital. 40 degrees. The wind is calm, but the wind is blowing in the higher elevations around town. There's a little minor inversion in the Helena Valley area. And how about that? 53 degrees in Great Falls. A lot of melting going on here. Of course, over the weekend, it was down about as cold as 11 degrees. Southwest winds gusting up to about 30 miles per hour. So here's this little boundary. How about almost 50 degrees in Cup Bank, 51 in Lewistown. Then you get to the north of this warm front or to the east of the warm front. We're in the teens and the 20s, but 50s, 40s, even some 30s here west of the warm front into the warm sector. And you can see the east wind out ahead of that warm front, but basically in the warm area here on to the south of the warm front, we've got this south to southwest wind that had been gusting as high as 50 miles per hour around the Livingston area. So watches and warnings, high wind warning, meaning wind is either happening at a certain level or it is imminent to, to see some gusts maybe up to between 40 and 80 miles per hour. Okay, electric city probably shouldn't see 80 mile per hour winds. Same with the capital, but they're just west of Cup Bank over around Bab, St. Mary, East Glacier, Browning could potentially see wind gusts up to about 80 miles per hour here this evening into tomorrow morning. Possibility of a few power outages and also maybe uh, some structure damage or even some tree damage and a high wind watch is going until 8 o'clock Tuesday evening for northeast Montana. So just about everybody looking at a little bout of wind coming through. Not much on the radar right now that's reaching the ground, but there is the front and as this continues to approach here, that will pick up the wind speeds and right there just off the Rocky Mountain front, some very strong winds and here we are by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. A lot of the state looking at some good winds uh, here easing up tomorrow evening and then still dealing with some wind through the day on Wednesday before we start to calm things down late Wednesday into Thursday. Precipitation wise, not much going on here tonight with the exception of some snow up around Glacier, but here comes the cold front overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. It really won't produce much in the way of precipitation around Great Falls or east of the Rocky Mountain front, but there could be a couple of snow showers coming through uh, the capital area tomorrow morning into early afternoon, and then it's windy and turning colder. A little light snow could be developing later in the day on Wednesday, and that will begin our snowy colder pattern that will continue through the weekend. Here's a look at the lows tonight, staying above 40 degrees around Great Falls. Eventually, tomorrow morning, there will be some warmer air getting up into northeast Montana. Lewistown, the melt continues, and around the capital, temperatures staying generally above the freezing point. Here's your forecast for Tuesday, 30s to about 40 degrees, very windy off the Rocky Mountain front out here across the high line. Uh, high wind watch likely becoming a high wind warning. Northeast Montana going until 8 o'clock tomorrow evening and around the capital. A couple of mixed rain and snow showers in the morning. Here is the seven day forecast. Yeah, there's a lot going on just about every single day here. Wind turning colder tomorrow. A couple of snow showers around Wednesday. We've got the lunar eclipse in the morning right around 630. I'm hoping that we've got a little window of partly cloudy skies and look at the weekend beginning really groundhog day. Highs in the teens, lows dropping below zero, widespread snow Friday, Friday night and Saturday. And for Great Falls, it was 50 degrees today. Let's not forget that zero for the high on Saturday with widespread snow. Yikes, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Coming